Welcome, man. We got GD with us, man. What it do, Snow? Fuck it do, man. All right, man. Ain't too much, man. Glad I finally got you to sit down for a second, man. Uh, so for people who don't know, man, uh, tell me where you from, man. Tell me your name and where you from. Northside GD, man. King of the North, man. You know how I'm coming, man. D Street, man. Original, man. You hear me? Been a road, 19th Street, bro. You know what I'm saying? East Street, D Street, Rosedale, man. They know how we coming, bro. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised. King of the North, you know how we coming. Switch on that glick at that boy in his butt. He a lot in that free car. Free Rick with a Vic by Seema. The niggas ain't no shit but dicks. I lay low in the trap, rather drop my fist. I'm on my seat, put his ass on fire. I get cussed to drink, slap that child. I think I'm versatile, right? But my main thing, I, I make that gangster music, man. But. I spit pain too, you know what I'm saying? My favorite artist, Scarface, so, you know what I'm saying? I spit pain music too, man. I feel it's like, it's a lot of people that can relate to what I be rapping about, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a bunch of youngers coming up right now that ain't got no guidance, you know what I'm saying? Or might ain't got their father, you know what I'm saying? Lost my father eight years ago. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm spitting stories, like real life shit. But, you know, I feel like it's authentic and to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm spending what I'm going through right now to this day. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be everything I'm going through, but it could be what somebody else is going through. You know what I'm saying? I'm just pinning it down for the people, man. With the question I asked you pertaining to, you know, rap lyrics and things like Lil Durk and his federal thing, you know, I do, do got to ask a dude from a person like you that, you know, grew up in the streets and come from the inner city. How do you feel about a situation like Lil Durk's situation where they now using his lyrics and people that's in this quote unquote entourage is the, you know, people that took him down? How do a person like you from the streets, you know, avoid a situation like that with your friends and the people that you have in your inner circle? Man, I'm a, first I'm gonna I'm I'm uh, I'm speak on how I feel about it, man. I feel, it, it feel crazy to me, man, cause you know, one, I don't condone no rats, you know what I'm saying? And then it's just crazy because now he about to be gone and he was looking out for his whole team, maybe like family too. Like, So now like everybody gonna be missing that pop that they was just receiving all these years. But my advice, Slim, like, just don't speak about what you getting active about, Slim. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you gonna speak about it, try to be discreet with it, man. Don't do no name dropping and shit, bro. Cause hey, people's really on that shit, man. They say Slim was wearing a wire, bro. So you, you gotta check the people who are around you, man. So <laughs> the real shit. I'm like I said, I don't condone in rats. I don't condone nobody that deal with rats. You know what I'm saying? No type. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm big on that old law. You know what I'm saying? My father raised me right, man. You you don't speak nothing, you ain't see nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, that's the code I, I live off right there, man. Rest in peace, my father, man. It's blood dripping from my heart, I know you see it. It's been a long franchise, young nigga came from the deep. I'm reminiscing about my pops, I miss him deeply. Shit, I came up, you know, I was born in 95, so you know what I'm saying? I'm a real 2000 baby, man, like, for real. You know what I'm saying? I came up in Northeast, man. Like, shit was rough. I just, you know what I'm saying? Shit, shit always went down. You know what I'm saying? As a younger, shit always went down. But it only take two to get with them. Switch on the 23, this ain't no pistol. We coming with two of these, you bad get lit. Trying to knock off two or three, a dog going with you. This trick, I have a bird flying over the pinnacles. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit never safe, man. Like, you just gotta be smart. You gotta know how to move. And you, you, you just gotta, man. Just, just, just stay cautious. That's all I think I can say, bro. Cause it's, it's a wicked game out here, man. I see, man, in, uh, in, in this interview and in other interviews and in some of your music, you speak a lot about your father, man. What kind of role did your father play in your life? A lot of young men that come up like you come up, they don't grow up with a father. Then some of them do grow up with fathers, don't know their father. You seem to have a whole lot of respect for your father. So what kind of impact did he have when you growing up, Slim? Man, my father was my biggest role model, man. My father was strictly in the streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? He took care of home first before anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, my father told me a lot, man. He told me how to move. He's part of the still reason why I'm still here today, man. You know what I'm saying? He the, he the biggest role model ever, man. I miss that nigga so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, he big on the code, bro. Like, 
he always talked about that paperwork shit. Like, <laughs> he checking niggas' paperwork. You come out of the feds or something like that, niggas checking your paperwork back in the day. Like, he always told me that. So, I'm big on that, man. Niggas hang around niggas down. They know hot, man. Like, that shit ain't low, bro. Check these niggas' paperwork, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some real shit, man. Check these niggas' paperwork, man. Uh, dudes that come up in the streets normally when they come off the porch, right? You know, they come off the porch and they look up to somebody and they have, you know, older brothers or cousins or big homies in the neighborhood. Did you have any type of, I ain't gonna use the word role model, but did you have anybody that, you know, you looked up to and you admired when you came up? Yes, sir. I got a couple good men, man. I watched, man, like I said, men. Ain't no suckers, none of that. No yes men, nothing. I watched men when I was coming up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no choice. My father got locked up when I was young, so the men had to look out there. You know what I'm saying? I used to live right across the street from the 8. You know what I'm saying? Right on 19th Street, one way, right across from Gears Elementary. I went to Gears when I was when I was a youngin'. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, free my man, Miyagi, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a big part of the reason why niggas still rapping out to this day, too, man. You know what I'm saying? He always been with me from the jump, man. Like, there be times I want to quit this shit. He be like, big boy, you know, nigga behind you, bro. Like, nigga know you got a lot of shit going on, bro, but you got to keep this shit going, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be times he try to keep me away from the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just talked to him not too long ago. That nigga don't want us in the streets. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, you better be rich by the time I come out this motherfucker slip. <laughs> So, you know what I'm saying? Free my baby, Yagi, man. I got a couple of good men, too, though, man. Rest in peace, Najee, man. Najee watched me grow up. He just lost his life, man, not too long ago, man. Right up, up Trinidad, bro. Rest in peace, Najee. Oh, old head originals, man. Like, shout out to whoever I ain't get, bro. It's coming up. I ain't gonna lie. When I realized, star, uh, actually, I've been on that mic, though. My father had got me introduced to that plies, man, that Royal Testament. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, we was bumping that plaz, man. So, like I said, I, I, when I first came out, I was actually speaking on the code and hot niggas that was hot for years. So, nobody really paid me no attention. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like I said, I'm big on the code. So, I'm, I'm speaking on that code, man. Some real gangster shit, bro. Like, shit that can't be televised. For real. I started making music 13 years ago. You know what I'm saying? I was living right there on 19th Street. My neighbor had a laptop. He used to live straight across from me, man. He was Muslim, man. His name was Naeem. He had a laptop and a mic. He used to sing. And I made my first freestyle, first freestyle, like, rough freestyle, no writing or nothing on the laptop right there on my porch on the step. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody used to see me when they come down that one way. You know what I'm saying? I made my actual first freestyle right there, bro. Me and my cousin, Lance. You know, so I got put out and shit. When we moved around the way, I had to go stay with my Yesterday home. afternoon on Waller Place and 9th Street, that's right near Achievement Preparatory Academy. Police say a man was found not breathing and he later died. So far, we haven't learned of any possible suspects. So we took off from there. We started making a lot of shit. That's where everybody got hip to me when I dropped my first joint on uh, YouTube. It was called Niggas in Purrs. And I was going on some niggas around my way, you know what I'm saying? So everybody got hip to me right there. So uh, projects, right? How would you number and name or title, you know, projects that you done put out from, you know, singles to anything you done done with anybody? You know what I mean? What's your, like, what they call it, like a discography or something? What's yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got, like, eight albums out. Big, big eight. All together. I got a lot of singles out, though. So I probably got, like, all, more than 20 things. 20, 20 projects. Not albums, but 20 things all together. Albums and singles. Uh, I seen you been promoting at least uh, one or two new songs. Is that right? Yes, sir. Wick back. Wick back. Wick back video, man. Shot by Clockwork Productions, man. On YouTube, you will find it on YouTube. Link in my bio. Video pin. First thing on my Instagram. 